Happy Wednesday. How are you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about something very practical. How to start a business from nothing and succeed. Huh? You need to make money. There's a lot of ways to make money. I'm going to tell you about some of them today. I'm going to help you start a business. Now, some of you already have wonderful jobs, but some of you don't. And even those people who have wonderful jobs know people who need to make money. If you know somebody who needs to make money, we can help them. You can help them after you watch this. Say this with me on this happy Wednesday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Glory to God, huh? The ultimate. That means the best. Pastor Jim is the best pastor out there. And why? Well, because I can do all the stuff and I'm available. Huh? There's other good pastors. Some great pastors. Try to get a hold of them. Huh? Try to get a hold of them. Not available. A lot of pastors, very few pastors are available, even to their own people. I am. I believe if you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. Amen. I personally speak the blessing, the spoken word for word blessing that God gave us to speak. And he told the, the priest to speak this blessing. Word for word. He said, when you do that, I will bless them. So I do, and he does. That causes God's blessing to come upon you. A lot of people, they want to be blessed. They don't know how. I didn't know how. And I didn't realize at one point in my life, God could not bless me. I'm going to talk to you about that. Huh? Hallelujah. I don't have a pen. I will talk about that. Hey, call me today if you need your prayers answered too. Because we get results. We get results. Amen. There's one place you can go to receive from God, to get your prayers answered, to make things happen. And that's right here. Because I am all about results. When you call me, I mean business. I fully intend to get your needs met for you. Share this with your friends. Please share this video. There is nobody in the country doing what I'm doing. This is unique. The, the pastors out there in the country, they say to me, how can you talk to all these people? I said, because I love these people. They don't understand it. Because they don't have, they don't have that love inside them for God's people. A lot of them. But I do. God gave me that. Amen. Hallelujah. How to start a business from nothing. Well, let me show you the first step. You know, when Mary and I came to Florida, we, were, we came here on our credit cards, folks. We had nothing. We had no money, nothing. And we were here and we were working this solar business that I came over here and I was working with a company in Sarasota. I came over here and started up an office for that company. But their, their finance uh, deal and their installers and everything was just, it was not a good business. I mean, it, it was a good concept, solar. 
and, and it's a great concept, but to try to, they wouldn't finance anybody. Everybody I tried to get financed got turned down. And then the install, if I got them approved, the installers would come and didn't get a. I had a major problem going on. Deuteronomy 28. Here is the first thing in starting a business. It says, it says, and it shall come to pass. If you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God and to observe and to do his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord God will set you on high above all people, and all these blessings shall come upon you. Then he goes through the blessings. And one of these blessings is everything you do shall prosper. Psalm 1. Psalm 1. We're, I'm talking about starting a business. I'm not off the track here. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the person that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that brings forth his fruit, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Before you start a business, you want to make sure you are in the supernatural area where everything you do prospers. I have literally started hundreds of businesses. I know all about businesses. And most of them fail. I'm just being honest with you. And the reason was because I was not walking in the blessing of the Lord. Then I started getting the blessing of the Lord on me. And now everything I do succeeds. Everybody I get a hold of who works with me succeeds. Because how many of you know that blessing is contagious? Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17. I like this. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed is the person who trusts in man or people. But, verse 7, Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. He shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out her roots by the river and shall not even see when famine comes, but her leaves shall be green and won't even worry in the year of drought. Let me tell you something, folks. We got a drought coming in this country. Big time. But that will not affect the people who trust in God. That's what it says. That's all I know. Let me tell you a little story. There was a man, young man, very young man, at the radio station where Mary and I uh, did our programs years ago. This was probably 22 years ago. I think in 2000. And so we went up there and did a program every week, a half hour program. Well, he taught us how to use all the equipment and we actually uh, learned how to do it. We engineered our own programs, ran all the equipment. That was pretty neat. Mixed, did all the mixing and everything. And, but he ran that radio station. He was the manager, young kid, 20 years old. Then he realized he wasn't making enough money because radio stations don't pay much unless you own the radio station or your name is Rush Limbaugh. So he said, he says, 
I need to talk to you. He says, I want to start a business. I want to start, I don't know, maybe a lawn care business or something. I said, hmm, okay. We've never had a lawn care business, but we know how to do a business. So we sat down with him, showed him how to start this lawn care business and blessed him and blessed him. Well, he left the radio station, started his lawn care business, and in about four months, he had 10 or 15 people working for him. And this kid was making $100,000 a year. And we had lunch with him last month. I, I saw, hadn't heard from him for years, but we knew he was successful. We had heard from him some, but hadn't heard from him quite a I saw his name on a real estate sign. There it was, with this beautiful lady standing right there beside him. And he was saying that this house was for sale. Turns out this beautiful lady was his wife. And they got three little kids. So I called him. Well, he was thrilled to hear from us. He was thrilled to hear from us. And because we had, we had gone through, a, he had a tough spot in his life and we were there for him. He was just thrilled for us to hear from us. So we had lunch with him. Turns out that everything he has touched since that day has been blessed. And now he is one of the top real estate agents probably in the country. He didn't know anything about real estate when he went in business, but he went in there with the blessing of the Lord upon him because we had blessed him. And here we are 20 years later, that blessing is still in effect. <laughs> there he goes. Huh? I'm telling you, it's just, he just is absolutely at the top of the heap. If you know, here, here is what I want to tell you about how to start a business from nothing. We know how to do this. If you need to make money, we can help you. I can help you start a business, whether you can clean houses and make five or $6,000 a month. Especially a man and his wife can start, can clean houses, make seven or $8,000 a month. I'm telling you what folks, there is money to be made out there. A lot of different ways to make money. And we know how to do this. And we, Mary and I started our house cleaning business when we first came to Florida. And it wasn't but just a few months and we had plenty of money to live on. Glory to God. I'm telling you what, folks. You know how, we, we know how to set it up. We know how to advertise it. We know how to get it started. We know how to get you business and get you clients. You call me. Say, Pastor Jim, here's what I want to do. I'll tell you right away if that will work or if it won't. You do not need to invest a lot of money to start a business. You can start a business from nothing and make money. But you got to have the blessing on you and the curse has got to be gone or you will fail no matter what you do. You call me. We'll get you started. I know how to find clients. I know how to advertise it. I mean, nowadays, it's easy to do this. I know how to name the business so people call you first. Amen. You call me. I'm out of time. Please share this with everybody you know who needs to make money because we know how to do this and I will bless you on top of it.